If you need an EA to pass any prop firm challenge then we have them, and they work. See the link in the description below this video, now let's get started. Hi traders. In today's video I'm going to be explaining the big guy strategy to you. And the big guy indicator is the most searched for indicator in the whole of trading view. And this should give you an immediate insight as to why this video is so crucial to you. Please watch to the end guys as in the final minute I will tell you how to get your hands on a totally free fully automated trading bot just for being a subscriber to my channel. Before I start the strategy you should be asking yourself what makes one individual indicator rise to the top of the ranks of popularity when chat GPT is confirming that this indicator has many hundreds of competitors on TradingView. Let me tell you there's a very valid reason why it's known as the big guy. So let's dive straight in and break this strategy down. This is not a one minute scalping strategy so for those traders out there who are looking for a system that does not get whipped around by short term volatility then this 30 minute strategy is perfect for you. Let's go across to TradingView search box and type in big guy and pull the indicator onto your chart. Next I want you to edit some of the settings of the indicator by firstly clicking on the style tab. I want you to edit the exchange volume alert so that it shows at the top. This will make our entry signals in the strategy much easier to see on the working chart. See how easy it is to see the entry points with these brightly colored triangles. Now you can see by default the big guy gives some extremely accurate entry signals. But just like any other indicator. Left on its own it can also issue signals which should not be taken blindly, as you can see here. So the next part of this strategy setup is to overcome these false signals to make sure that the results of the strategy aren't negatively impacted. So we're going to bring in a second TradingView indicator which will help us get rid of these false signals. In the TradingView search box type in CCI underscore S and bring on this indicator which was developed by Dave ATT. In essence what we have brought on is the commodity channel index indicator that calculates the difference between the price as it is trading now in comparison to the historical average price. And on its own is an extremely powerful trading tool. Now let's edit the settings so that it will work perfectly with the big guy. Change the commodity channel index to 20 and change the value of the stochastic smooth K to 5. Then move on to unticking the boxes that you see underneath because they are not required. It's quite easy to instantly notice that the CCI gives us an independent trading strategy with buy and sell signals as well as the CCI line which constantly moves between overbought and oversold. Now I want you to go back into the settings of the CCI and click on the style tab. Due to the fact that this part of the indicator will be used significantly, turn up the color so that it is more visible on the charts and then click OK. Now let's jump straight in and talk about the system rules for trading. The first thing that we are looking for is a yellow triangle being printed by the big guy indicator at the same time that the CCI has moved into the green box. This gives us a perfect entry to go long. Here see another perfect example of a trade that would have been extremely profitable had it been taken. But take a look here where I'm highlighting a false signal. Because there is no confluence between the two indicators and you would not have entered a trade. But here you can see that we got a perfect alignment and had we taken this long entry the market would have made a very strong move in our direction. Here you can see that the big guy gives us two yellow triangles pretty much together. But there is no alignment with the CCI underneath. So again we look at a fake signal. Here we see perfect confluence between the two indicators again and this long entry would have given us a huge risk to reward ratio. Here is another example of a false signal when the two indicators did not align. And had we taken this long position you can see that the market shortly afterwards declined. And if you study carefully here you will start to clearly see that when the two indicators do not align at the same time. Then there is a high chance the trade would have not gone on to be successful. Here is a perfect example of an incredibly profitable long position where you see the big guy and the CCI indicators both confirming a long trade should be taken before a significant move upwards follows. Shortly before this you see another perfect entry where we get the indicators agreeing on a perfect long position which would have been a very profitable trade. And be careful, do not be tempted to enter a trade just because the CCI indicator gives you what looks to be a good signal. Because if it is not supported by the big guy then there is no trade with this strategy. Well I've just shown you many examples of very profitable trades and just as many examples of trades that you would have not even have considered entering due to the confluence required by the system. Now let's take a look at how to take profit with the strategy. Let's use the TradingView replay feature to show you how to handle your trade management. When both indicators agree on this long position we would open the trade and place our stop loss just underneath the recent swing low. And for this strategy our target will be just underneath the most recent resistance point above the market. As you can see here this trade played out perfectly with the market rising through the most recent resistance point securing a profit of 2.17% on the account risking 1% as the stop loss. Let me show you another chart example so that you fully understand where the stop loss and take profit target should be set. 
although every stop loss and take profit target will be different in theory. They all have the same rules, set the stop loss just underneath the most recent swing wick lows. And set your target just underneath the resistance high directly above the market. Again, because both of these indicators are independently powerful waiting until they both agree on an entry sees this trade push through to a 2.5% risk reward. Let's go and look at one more example so that there's no doubt about how you're going to be taking your entries. When you see the two indicators issue this long entry, your stop loss will be placed just underneath the most recent wick low, with your take profit target being just short of the top of the resistance level to the left. Just be patient and let your trades play out because the strategy has got a very good risk to reward ratio meaning that even the odd losing trade will still mean that your day will more than likely end with a good profit in your trading account. And here is a secret that I've kept right until the end of this video. As you can see this strategy focuses on long positions only. So there is a very powerful way to maximize the results. By simply adding a 200 period exponential moving average to your charts then you will only take a signal if price action is trading above the moving average. Simply by adding this third confluence into the mix will skyrocket the efficiency and profitability of the big guy strategy. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got to this part of the video because anybody who dropped out midway through would have missed out on that golden nugget advice. If you've got some value out of the video please ring the bell give it a thumbs up. And as soon as you've subscribed to my channel drop a comment and let me know. And as a thank you I will give you completely free of charge a fully automated trading bot just for being a loyal subscriber. As you know my core business is passing client challenges using trading bots as they are undoubtedly the future of trading. Until next time guys, safe trading.